Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Dinsmore Outdoors and thank you for joining in for this episode of Custom Crankbait Painting by Noob. That noob is me. My name is Joe. If it's the first time to the channel. And today what we're going to be doing is making a drying box. So, if you haven't known already, I just recently started to paint custom crankbaits. And I've only made, I've only painted three so far. I'm probably going to make another one here in just a minute. But if you're OCD like me, and you really care about your baits and a project that you do, you want them to be perfect. Well, even though I'm in my little shop, or my little uh, tackle cave, if you will, out here in the garage, I still have my dog coming in and out of here and dust and everything, and I hung one bait up and there's still imperfections in the clear coat, and that's going to drive me crazy. Especially if uh, anybody wants to buy these lures from me later on down the road, I want to make sure that they're getting the best. So, I had an idea. Why not make a box that you can filter out the air to keep stuff from getting to your base while they're curing and the clear coat is getting on. So that's what we came up with. That's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how to make your very own. You don't have to use it just for baits. You can use it for anything. Anything that you uh, paint or put clear coat, any kind of project. So, feel free to do it use it for that. It only, you only need a couple things and a lot of it comes off of either Walmart or Amazon which is cheap anyway. So the big obvious thing is the box itself. Uh, this is a 64 quart? Yeah, 64 quart tote that I got from Walmart. Stupid cheap, probably like what? $4.50 if that. I'm not, I don't even remember because I, I wasn't even that worried about the price. But a uh, cheap couple of dowels from my local hardware store which are probably like a dollar a piece if you want to get crazy exact. These are three eighths, three eighths inch dowels. Another two main components. Just a random Fram air filter. I just went on Amazon and typed in square small air filter and this popped up. If you're wondering what the part number is, it is C is in cat, A is in apple, 3916. Or for the military folks, Charlie Alpha. 3-9 And then probably one of the main parts for it is the little fan. Now what this fan is, it's made for like DVD players, Xbox, Playstation. It's like an external fan to help keep it cool. Uh, I know if you get most computer fans, they run on DC, not DC power. So that's where this comes handy. And also it has uh, adjustable speeds on here. If you're curious about any of this stuff, just let me know in the comments if you want links to it. And then uh, if I get enough people comment and say, hey, where'd you get this? Then I'll leave links down in the description below. You just click where it says uh, read more and it'll drop down and show you like all the links to everything that I use. It is an Amazon affiliate link. So, you know, by buying something, you guys help me out and there's no extra calls to you. And also, uh, while you're also helping me out, go ahead, click that red subscribe button. Leave it. Leave the video a thumbs up for me buying all the stuff and helping you out. I hope I'm helping you out. And also uh, smash that bell so you get notified of any time new videos come out. So new crankbait colors, new fishing videos, new how-tos, new anything. So anyway, like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to take this box. There's a few common things like you can use uh, whole saw if you want to get crazy. I just got it. A little razor knife, you can use a sharp pocket knife if you got one. And what we're going to do is you have a fan on one side, pulling the air out of the box, and you're going to have your filter on the other side, filtering the air that's coming through. That way, you no know, dog hair, cat hair, dust, bugs, none of that stuff comes in here. So if you had a fan on here and a big hole on the other side, you're still defeating the purpose. By sticking that air filter, that car air filter in there, you're not letting you're letting air come through, but nothing else, keeping the clear coat nice and pristine. And then the way we're going to hang our baits is, don't get ahead of me. We're going to take our dowels, stick them through like so with some holes. You can get crazy and seal seal around the end of the dowels if you want to, and then hang our baits down here. And just put some newspaper down in the bottom of this to catch all the stuff that drips off. Alright, so now that we went over the equipment and the rundown, let's get to making this box. 
All right, so the first step we're going to take is uh, putting our holes in here. Take my fan, stick it roughly in the middle. You ain't got to be exact and break out a tape measure and go crazy with it. Sharpie. See where the cage is for the fan itself. And just start tracing. I'm not going to bore you to death by watching me trace all of this. If you want, you can also, this, all this is is little Phillips head screws. You can take these off and put the cage down direct and make this even better and get a better fit. So that's probably what I ended up doing anyway. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. So just take the cage of the fan and stick where I want. And also I can mark where I need to drill holes for the screws. Or you want to cut to the inside of your markings. You don't go to the outside. You want to try to keep this closed in as much as you can to pull that air through, not grab any outside. So hopefully this isn't bad as I thought it is. And I cracked it, but I think I well crap. Okay, so blooper reel. Learn from me, this stuff is pretty brittle. Don't use a razor knife. Let's find something else. Okay, so uh, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Just quit messing around and break out the jigsaw. Works a lot better. Just a lot of noise. Not pretty, but it'll do. Okay, I'm going to attempt to drill the four mounting holes carefully. If you do get them in here like I do, just take some Gorilla Glue or something and stick on there. That's what I'm going to end up doing. I mean, this thing ain't made to look pretty. It's just made to be functional. This is going to be a lot easier to trace. Trace along the edge here. That way this fits in like a gasket, like it would in a car. There's actually a little line right here on the bottom of this. I don't think you can see it on camera, but this one I'm going to use like a straight edge. Kind of line it up, just eyeball it. This freaking plastic so dang slippery. Alright, so the way I'm tacking this is I'm drilling holes in all the corners. I mean, just cut corner to corner, it's just straight lines with the jigsaw. But I got a pile of holes, now we're going to step it up to a bigger one, which I'm going to use these later for the uh, put the dowels in. Nice. This thing wants to tear this crap away. Put cracks in this stuff already. Man, don't buy the cheap Walmart brand. Get the actual rubber made. Don't make my mistake. Spend the extra 50 cents. Alright, cheeks all the time. Let's hope this doesn't become a giant disaster.
crack, crack, rough edge. Let's see if this stupid thing fits in here. It does and it stays. So mission accomplished. Look at that. No glue, no nothing. She's in there. Alright. So next up is to put the holes in here for the dowels. I wonder where that drill was. Trying to go easy with it. I don't want to mess this thing up any more than what it is. And let's see if one of these dowels will fit in there. New nope. holes too small. Next size up. Or I can just wall it out some more. That's probably the redneck thing to do. You can just have a nice tight fit in there. Probably go around with the razor blade and clean that up. Oh, yeah, I like money now. That's what we want to do. you guys can see you can hang quite a few of these baits uh, I'd only got three I had to dip but you could probably hang I don't know about ten of them in here if you want to get real crazy and we just put the lid on seal her up turn on the fan that's it guys it's all done. That's when I'm gonna start hanging my baits in, so to make sure they don't get any dust or hair or anything on them. It's just a pain in the butt when you go through all that trouble of painting it, dipping it real slow, and putting in all the work just to have something stick to it. And then you pretty much gotta sand it down, redip it, and start all over. So definitely stop by. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video from me and Steve, my pet swanning bass. We definitely appreciate it. I hope this encourages you to go out there and do some stuff for your own and kind of think outside the box and come out with your own ideas or you know feel free to copy mine. That's why I posted it on YouTube. So y'all take care. Remember, we do more than this for We'll see you out there.